one of two of its peaks. We're about to head into MSM 200, 200 pretty soon. Of course, MSM is now hitting the peak of four-year anniversary here, and we're now hitting literally the peak of the bracket here. Winner's finals, Nico versus Larry Lur. Enough introduction, let's just hop right into it. Yeah, I mean, this MSM, we're starting to see all the Jokers coming back. You know, the kind of came one, day one, kind of got blown mm -hmm. up by a couple people, and then they're back, you know. Winner's finals, we already got a Joker here. Nico is trying to show us that... Uh, He's got some stuff with this character. Oh, yeah. And as of late, Nico has kind of gone, oh, my God. I took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, that was just, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that is one weakness you have with Arsene is that it's just very easy to get uh, destroyed yeah. like that off stage, especially if you have a long-lasting dare like Falco does. Yeah. And one of those things that it feels very reminiscent of, oh, well, okay. all right, man. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take it. We'll, we'll yeah. go blow for blow. Uh, conversely, you also have dare into a lot of stuff with Arsene, so that makes it much more worth it as well so definitely the kill potential does go up as our scene is available so yeah and we already see it just uh, turning the tide very slowly nico trying to bring this back and he already got him off stage potential edge guard here oh i like it immediately going for the forward tilt just trying to catch later for the side b larry gets that classic up tilt to back air i mean five months old man this thing is a well-grown bird forward air get I'm off the stage. Yeah, a little bit of an awkward position, and Falco has those long-lasting hitboxes mm -hmm. and can catch people lingering off stage when you're trying to get in position. Very smart edge guard overall from Larry, recognizing he didn't have too many options left. Oh, nice! Sets up the rebels guard, man. I see that side beat, and I raise your rebels guard. Give me some of that free arson. Yeah. One of the be better things about rebels guard compared to other counters is that you can hold it down for an extended period of time. Oh yeah. So you, you don't have to time your uh, counters quite perfectly. You can just let it rip, and then. See, hope for the best. <laughs> and not only that, it's like just a great counter overall. You take half the damage as well, man. Yeah. Two for one package deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, but jab reset. Ooh. Gets the up tilt, another back air, but doesn't get the turnaround quite quick enough. So he's going to be surviving just a little bit more. D badge guard coming in for Nico. I think he's uh, trying to just gather some data at this point. I feel yeah. like it's a little bit of an uphill battle once Joker doesn't quite have the lead. Especially uh, RC is not nearly available either. It's going to be a little bit difficult trying to find a setup into a kill right now. Yeah. For Nico, this is usually how him and Larry go back and forth. As of late, though, in Ultimate, the past two Hollywood Action Tuesdays that we've seen them play against each other, Nico is usually the one taking the money over against Larry. So we'll see how things go here at MSM. Different, uh, different day of the week. Yeah. More prestige here. All right, he's got himself at the ledge. Arsene is available, though, so like we said before, the, the kill potential is definitely coming back. We'll have to see. He's at 147%, though. One straight hit from Falco could definitely do it as well. Trying to find that juggle. Air dodge is right through. Larry taking his time. Knows that he doesn't have to rush it. And now he's got himself to control here. What's the option? Goes for a head gal. Nice. Hold the shield all the way. Here's the comeback factor. Back air sees the cross up. Oh, Arsene's gone. Just when he needed it in a nick of time, too. Larry able to come back from it. Dash attack puts him off stage one more time, though. One more time. No, oh, I saw it. He was looking for either the down air or the back air. Possibly a grab or a dash attack to see how Larry was going to go around. Yep. A lot of moves to be planned, but nonetheless, Larry takes the first step there. Yeah, we melee, boys. You know, if you can't find your shine to dare or whatever, you're it just, it just, it's up till the back air. Then, you know, <laughs> a down tilt will always work for a kill move, too. Yeah, man. Never doubt the bird, man. He's got so much kill potential, so much kill power nonetheless. He's got shotgun feet. Yeah. Uh, earlier in this bracket, we did see uh, Cookie Slayer also pull out his Joker as well. Mm -hmm. We're, we're kind of seeing the, the differences. You know, Nigo never really has been a technical player. He's always been a very fundamentals, reads type of player. We're seeing that in his Joker as well. You know, you see Cookie Slayer is the one using, like, the, the, the take aim, the gun tech, and using that to be able to position himself on the ledge and keep up ledge traps. Nico relies more on, you know, his just fundamentals that he's been able to use poorly with, uh, with Shulk at this point. Yeah. And for you guys wondering uh, on the stream here, a real quick update, a little bit of an upset thread here. Uh, not much of an upset, but just a quick little fact for you guys. Key did beat out AC in winner semis of the loser side here. Probably cementing himself more as one of the best snakes here in SoCal. Now currently fighting Cookie Slayer to get into possibly grand finals of losers in the losers' quarters. Yep. Back to the match. Looks Sech. like Nico hurt me. He's, he's throwing out the take aim tech a little bit more using that downward spiral gun. To be able to try and keep Larry off stage or, excuse me, at bay when he tries to go for something. Oh, grappling hook doesn't quite connect that time. I think it went a little bit too far underneath mm -hmm. the lip of Pokemon Stadium. Not quite going to work out there. Nonetheless, Nico knows what he has to do to come back. Catch Falco on the landings. Both Falco and Fox and Wolf as well, they do suffer uh, being from the same game. They do suffer the same linear recovery options, either side B or up B. Wolf, you got to respect it though a little bit. Side B doesn't auto snap the ledge. 
Tries to use the lasers, he's using and respecting that space. Oh, Ooh, just rolls underneath. He went for the roll, man, but at that point, like, Lair was already on the other side. Wrong opportunity there. Yeah. Slightly missed space. Now he's going to be trading positions. He's at a high percent, though, so pretty much anything that Larry can take at this point is going to be really good for him. Mm -hmm. Low recovery. Catches the immediate jump, though. That lag... Whoa. That, oh. that looked really weird. Yeah, our seed's gone now. Not going to be able just, to make it back from that. Just stop your animation there. No tech from Nico there. Larry with 3-1 in the stock against Nico. Possibly looking to move 2-0 if Nico does not find the opportunity to catch up yet. I think that was just unfortunate for Nico. I think he thought that he got the hit on Larry. Yeah. But then he noticed that he was the one that was far out, so just didn't quite work out the way he wanted to. Ooh, and releases the Rebels Guard a little bit early. Gets clipped by that up till Not going to get that full benefit there. But the yeah. damage is still attacking on, so you can see the bar is about four-fifths of the way there. And it's good for him to go for the Rebels Guard because he knows Larry's going to look for those up tilts to bring him up to the air with the up air and he can take those hits with the Rebels Guard and get our send back. Yeah. Will be the big clutch factor there. All right, looking for the landing. Good opportunity with up tilt. Great punish against Larry. Yes, and initial air. Directional Jared Lodge off stage. But Oof. yeah, he's got that jump. And I love that angle there, just pushing into the stage just so that it throws off the timing on the dare. But still, not enough. Nico is able to get that dare into up smash, confirms yet into another kill. Yeah, Nico mode has been activated with Arsene now. I talked about a Captain Clutch here, possibly going from toe-to-toe -to -toe against Larry. Yes. Yes, that throw. All right, Rar back air. Oh. Okay, good, good understanding from Nico. Saw the crosser from neutral air. Didn't panic. Get up oh, attack. I like that from Larry. He recognized he didn't have quite enough time. That's going to be it, too, with the back air. He, did re he recognized he didn't have quite enough time to be able to get the jab lock. So he just waited for the right option. Just baited out that get up attack. And was able to extend forth into the kill. Yeah. I think that's one of those very tiny, subtle differences between like the mid level, the high level, and the top level players is just knowing when you can extend yourself and knowing those little microsecond details of knowing when you'll be able to extend, get a combo, get something going, or when you have to wait out an option, bait something out, and then elicit a reaction out of your opponent to be able to get a follow-up afterwards. Yeah. All those factors taken into play. Always make sure they're shuffling right through your mind and your memory. Really good stuff. Nico not going to switch to Shulk. I mean, that's something I kind of wanted to see here. The chips are kind of down. Larry's got two games over you. Free Emerson for the year. That's, if you think about it, that's free money. Almost. You know, if you're doing really well, head, uh, head exercise who you fight a bragging, but... Yeah, I mean, it'll get Larry to come to MSM more often. And another up till the back air. That'll be able mm -hmm. to take the stocks zero to death completely from Larry Lara. Nico kind of blindsided there. Not yeah. going to oh. be a great start to this match so far. Loses the stage going for the back air and gets sent a little bit down. Nico, slight desperation. We saw the last game play out really well for him. Desperation mode not activated. It was more of Nico mode, but we'll see how he can do against Larry now. Yeah, he's got the less trap, though. Got oh, himself in a good position, but not quite able to get the edge guard. I mean, if RC's not available, Joker doesn't really have a spike or one of those strong hitboxes that really destroys the spaces yeah. when you're trying to recover. So it can be kind of difficult in the right situation. And Larry's been lucky of when RC is available when it's not. Oh. But that time, he wasn't lucky with that edge guard. You try to use the shine to keep him at bay. Didn't quite work out there. The best way you can think about Joker without Arsene is kind of like Robin Bronze Sword. And then when he's got Arsene, he's got Eleven Sword activated. Those hitboxes do just extra meaty damage. Yeah, of course. All right, it was interesting. It looks like he popped out at fair, and he still was able to follow up with the nice. upper afterwards. Oh. Yep, just uh, whiffing. They're trying oh, not no. to commit a little bit too much, but yeah, down to it again. That's going to be able to take out another stock. Last stock for potentially Nico's winner's run here at mm -hmm. MSM 190. You know, the, the free MSM's on the line for the rest of the year. So give, it, we'll give, it, give it to somebody who actually shows up to MSM. Yeah. <laughs> Larry. All right, let's see. The four cells come out, though. All right, yeah, that time Rebels Guard is able to come out just in time. Usually that's going to come out when you're either your opponent's trying to juggle you or mm -hmm. trying to extend themselves when it's not a true combo. And it's just one of those situations where it was barely able to squeeze out the counter there. All right, that time the shine works. Uh, he actually kept them off bait that oh. time around. Oh, trade. Good but trade. But the off smash comes out. Yeah, not the last stock, though. So Nico's go got one more to go through if he wants to try and bring this bracket back to him. Yeah, that's the trade where you traded your your Radata card for your opponent's Charizard card. It came out on plus. Still able to survive. Come back next to the game. Nico looking for a possible whiff punish. And I like that he's using his movement now a little bit more just to see how Larry's going to react. He immediately gets the whiff there and a good punish putting Larry back to the corner and moving him around the stage. Yeah, I mean, Joker doesn't have the strongest hitboxes in the game, but he's very fast, can elicit a lot of whiff hitboxes and be able to navigate around it. And he gets that force smash, barely not able to do it, though. I'm telling you, man, he's looking for the whiff punish there and he even sees that Larry was going for the back air. 
Gotta watch the landing Rebels Guard and make sure he survives the forward air. Meter is half full though, got a little bit more time. Maybe one more Rebels Guard before he can think about it, but he's just trying to go for the edge guards mm -hmm. alone. Still not enough, doesn't quite get that there. But Larry's trying to get back out of this ledge and the roll just barely makes it back. Oh, watch the landing here. Mike's goes for the bullet storm, bullet rain, sorry. Yep. Looking for the landing. Back throw, nice. Get the eyes oh. down, looks like, to avoid the last hit of that laser. Oh, Arsene is available. Oh, no, and he tried to go for the punish, but fortunately, Larry clutches it out with that back air. Miko's so close.